Well, there's something thriving on stormwater ponds across Minnesota, and it's catching the attention of researchers. Here's what it looks like. Can you guess what it is? Our Aaron Hassanzada looked into it and explains why it appears to be a big problem. This looks like blue-green algae, doesn't it? But it's not. It's actually duckweed, which is the smallest flowering plant out there. And it loves to grow on little ponds like this across the state. But U of M researchers now know it's actually harmful. They've been testing ponds around the metro with this little bucket device to see the gases that ponds with duckweed emit. And they found ponds with duckweed on them emitted more than three times as much methane than ponds without it. Methane, of course, a greenhouse gas, but it's 30 times more potent than carbon dioxide when it comes to warming. Pretty much all freshwater bodies are emitting carbon dioxide and methane as a whole just because they receive all the runoff from the land, you know. All the leaves that fall in the wood eventually get washed into a nearby river or lake uh, where all that organic matter is broken down. What we found is that these ponds, especially stormwater ponds, are doing this at a rapid rate just because they receive so much more runoff. Now researchers are shifting their focus to finding a solution for this. So for example, would putting a fountain in the middle of this pond break up the duckweed growth and be helpful? Or would scooping it out of the pond work? And would that create other issues in the process? So they're hoping to look into that to find a helpful solution. In St. Paul, Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. Researchers will also explore what happens throughout the year. Do these ponds still emit the methane in the winter from under the ice? Joe also told Aaron there are positives. It looks like the duckweed filters out metal contaminants from stormwater ponds. The duckweed stores it in its biomass and then you can harvest it off.